Is it possible that people may be choosing to stay depressed and anxious by choosing not to change their story and state? How can you start owning your mood and what you can do to make rapid progress towards the mood that you want to have? We will be discussing the feelings of depression, sadness and anxiety today. We will share some ideas that may make it clear that for many people, depression and anxiety is a self-imposed oppression. Wait! Before you start objecting, please note, we are not saying that this is the case for all but it is true for a lot of people out there. Nevertheless, we are confident that the ideas we will be sharing in this episode will help everyone inshallah. The level and the impact and the results will vary from one person to the other depending on a variety of factors which includes their existing state, their confidence in the ideas that we are sharing and the patience to consistently apply these ideas. Another very important thing to remember that we are not saying that these ideas are the only things that you need to do and quit everything else. For example, if you are taking medication to treat some of these moods or feelings, we are definitely not encouraging you to quit medicine. You may ask then, hey, if someone is on medication and is managing moods well with medication, how may he benefit from these ideas? What these ideas will do for him is inshallah prevent situation from getting worse it may also help towards reducing medical dose and or side effects under the supervision of a trusted doctor. These ideas will also help the one being tried with the sickness and the loved ones around him to maintain an empowering and positive mindset. If one is not affected by this at all or have very minimal exposure to it, then these ideas will help them be ready for any sort of exposure in the future inshallah. Let's take a look at what are some of the common behavioral patterns associated with change of moods. What is the first thing we think or do when we start noticing that we are ha not feeling well? We start noticing a mood change, we start noticing going towards moods that we don't want to experience. Do we give up? Do we treat it as, you know what, that's it, my day is gone, my week is gone? Or do we acknowledge the feeling and are ready to explore what this feeling is telling us? Are we ready to explore and to react in a smart manner? This is very important, as many people may want to run away from it and engage in destructive behavior. A destructive behavior is something that would help one temporarily change the way he feels, that would help numb the feelings or put blame on others, but would not address the situation or the underlying core issue. So, people may engage in consuming substance that is destructive or addictive or may engage in watching inappropriate content, sleeping out throughout the day, staying inside for days, not meeting anyone, not taking care of their responsibilities such as showing up for work, etc. If you want to really achieve breakthroughs, attitude has to change. We have to acknowledge the situation, observe it, intercept it and prevent it from becoming worse. Let's realize what the situation actually is. When we start experiencing mood changes, do we start blaming ourselves or blaming others or hating ourselves or hating others? Or do we face it with an empowering mindset? What we really have is a situation in which one is not able to feel optimal. He or she has thoughts, feelings and moods that are discouraging him to actions that are beneficial for him. One shall consider accepting it as a test, a challenge that will bring goodness, that will bring more strength for everyone affected. One shall realize that just having the condition does not mean that one is not good enough, not loved enough by the Creator. It is a challenge that the body and the mind is facing. The condition is itself a creation of Allah and there is a reason for the existence of this condition. Consider this, if you had the full authority and control, you would perhaps not create this condition for yourself or for your loved ones. But that choice would be based on your level of knowledge, your level of experience. But hey, every action of Allah is based on His complete and perfect wisdom, complete and perfect justice and mercy. So there is a wisdom behind what you are currently facing. We may not be able to appreciate it all, 
or may appreciate it partially, and that is where our faith in Allah comes in. That is where our knowledge of the wisdom of Allah comes in. That is how we show and grow our trust in Allah, that He knows what is best for us. His choices for me are better than my own choices and my own wishes. He knows the level of success, progress, submission, trust and love of Allah that one can achieve because of this challenge and how amazing his destination would be when one passes on from this life to the hereafter. So one should have the mindset and attitude of patience and gratitude. Patience, seeking the reward and trusting in the wisdom of the Creator, and gratitude that the situation is not worse than what it is. Because the situation could have been worse. If something tragic or painful happens to us, what meaning, what story do we give it? It is extremely important to pay the attention to the meaning that we are giving to a situation and the words that we use to describe it. Do we consider it a beginning or an end? Do we consider it to come from the love of Allah or the hate of Allah? When we lose something, we can give it a meaning that Allah wants to strengthen us. He wants to give us an opportunity to fix any wrong we have been doing. If we have lost a relationship or a loved one, instead of considering that as an end, why don't we consider it as something coming from love and wisdom of Allah? We consider it like someone taking a long escalator. The escalator makes the life easy and raises the person on it. Eventually, one will come to a point when the person has to leave the companionship, the relationship, the contact with the escalator and move on. But when he does that, he has actually reached a higher level and refuse to let go and to cry as the escalator comes to an end. He will trip or fall and will cause the people behind him to fall as well. The wise one would appreciate the ride, the connection, the growth that he received from the escalator and move on with the journey. This is how some people, some connections, some jobs, some opportunities play a role in our life. They raise us, they give us an experience, they uplift us, but at some time, we have to let go. We will leave you with these ideas around mindset and how you approach mood changes. In the next episodes, we will be dealing with the same topic from different angles.